And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with the 106th annual Cannon Valley Fair and Parade. Cannon Falls Police Department with Chief Jeff McCormick driving, protecting the area, protecting the citizens, and giving some a ticket once in a while. We're going to stop for just a small break here. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem. And this is Cannon Falls Area Veterans in American Legion and the EFW. That national anthem was done by the Cactus Cuties from Texas back a number of years ago. I might add at this time, children, please do not run out into the street to get candy unless there's no vehicles close by parents and adults, if you can kind of watch out. And also, please don't throw your candy wrappers around on the street and make a mess. It would be nice if you kind of clean it up a little bit. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Grand Marshals is the health care workers. Good grief. Thank you so much for all you do. And smart things sitting down. I like that. Emergency Medical Services. Always on hand. There's someone on hand all the time in case something happens. We have, I believe, three different EMS ambulances or trucks to go out. If there's an accident, you can be assured that they're going to be there as quickly as they possibly can. There's been a number of times when I've been out late at night on the way home from work and there's a car in the ditch. It didn't take too long for them to respond.
pull over to the side. If you see lights coming behind you, if you see him coming in front of the front, be careful. If there's one sitting on the side of the road, please go around and be careful. Best in technology. It used to be if you got picked up by an ambulance, you get thrown on a stretcher and put in the back and driven to the hospital with no help. And now they can treat you right there. Sometimes when the ambulances come through town and making noise like that, it's a little irritating. But when you figure out that they're on their way to try and save someone, ah, someone's life, or honk the horn. That's, that's a wonderful horn. I'll bet we'll be able to hear that on the recording. In case you missed something on the parade, local channel 12 We'll have the rebroadcast of this, and it should be posted for quite some time. Thank you very much for all you do for your volunteers, ambulance drivers, EMTs. Hi, Brenda. And other volunteers that probably aren't EMTs. If you find yourself with not much to do during the week and you'd like to do something, I'll bet if you called City Hall and said you'd like to volunteer, there would be plenty of positions to do something. Maybe volunteer with the EMS. Maybe you can do some help for the fire department. The hospital is usually looking for volunteers to help out around there. It's always something to do. Fire Chief's going all the way back to 1893. I suppose that wasn't one of you guys, was it? Or was it? Okay, that's right. Notice there's some repeats in there, a few Millers, a few Altos. Dedicated people, it's not just a lot of fun for them. But it's dedication. One of the things they're dedicated to is marching in the parade and the heat. Usually you've got uh, water uh, cannons and stuff like that, guys. What happens? Don't jinx yourself. Don't jinx yourself. <laughs> if there's a grass fighter, they can send out one of these vehicles to get out quick. Instead of sending one of the big trucks out, it's a lot quicker to get one of these out. If there's an issue on the water, one of these rafts can get out there quick and can go in shallow water or deep. If, if one of the trucks is out of fire and there's no hydrant close by, these tenders will come out full of water and hook up to the fire truck so they have the water they need to put out the fire. And there have been many times when that's happened. We have two. With all the equipment that you would expect from a larger city, are right here in our own town. The technology has changed so much. This is one of our newer vehicles, the snorkel, which can be used to get up into the higher levels of buildings. 
or to put water on the top of a building if there's a roof fire or you can put a hole in the top of the roof and it can put water into the inside of the building through the roof or through an upper level. And then smallest, but not by means of the least, little vehicles that can go up and out small fires. Something like a grass fire, maybe a small car fire. They can get out there in a hurry and put it out. It's amazing how useful some of these small vehicles can really be. They can get up through, into the woods through some trails that aren't accessible to anything else. Hampton Fire Department, thanks for bringing the rigs down, guys. Don't forget the chicken barbecue raffle and street dance on August 21st, I think that's at 2. 3 o'clock till midnight. That's in downtown Randolph, if I'm not mistaken. Randolph Fire Department also comes to assist Cannon Falls if there's a fire that's pretty big. Meeseville is close enough too, so if we need some help, we just give them a call. And vice versa, if they need some help, they would give us a call. They serve Douglas, Vesa, and Welch Townships and Meeseville itself. It's very well needed sometimes that a small unit like this can't handle everything. They'll put out a call to maybe Red Wing, Hastings, Canna Falls, Hampton, and Randolph. Wildfire Rescue Unit. Very helpful in the needs of things. Just sometimes you don't imagine what is necessary. It's nice to have the variety of equipment in various towns. So when we need assistance, we can just give them a call. Good to your community fire truck association come down too. And same thing, we have sometimes had good you come and help us and they've also had us go to help them. Wanamango Fire Department. Thanks, Wanamango, for coming down. And here's the competition for the noise right here. Nice rig, there again. We need help, they need help, it's always in the works. If I lose my guess, this would probably be the um, swimming pool people. I was wrong. Push for awareness and the signs of mental illness. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I thought. The awareness for mental illness, there are a lot of times when small things start happening to a partner or someone in your family, it's hard to explain. If you give a call to mental illness people, they can give you some advice and some things to do. I'll probably have you go to the clinic and check on it, but if you catch it early, it's a lot better than letting it go and ignoring it. Egg Partners has graciously loaned their vehicle for some more of the push for awareness. American Foundation for Suicide Preservation Prevention is also a good thing. There again, if you see something that's unusual from a partner or someone in your home, 
then give them a call. Call 911, they can give you some, 911, they can give you some information or call the clinic. There is nothing wrong with a mental illness issue. Catch it early, do not let it go to an extreme. Dragon Patrol. Osman Shriners. An organization to, to assist children in sickness. Everyone hide your children. Good looking women, cover your faces. Holy buckets. <laughs> oh, that's nice and cool. What about kill the photographers or the cameraman? They come all the way up from Rochester to favor us with their dragon doings here. That's a, this is only about a mile and a half or two miles to walk, but when you're carrying something like that, it gets to be a bunch. Osmond Shrine Dragon Patrol. Cannon Falls Community Band. An all-volunteer band. They don't do much yet. They're starting to get back in the swing of things after COVID-19. Mess things up. These are all volunteers. They meet once a week. There is also a Cannon Valley Ensemble that runs out through the um, Cannon Valley Senior Center. They meet once a week at the center in practice. They are also kind of active in the community. So volunteer, if you used to play an instrument when you were in high school or college, or maybe even after high school or college, I'll bet if you call the senior center, they could give you some phone numbers. And you would probably be welcome with open arms to join one of these marvelous little organizations. And there again, I'll put in a pitch for anyone that has some spare time and volunteers. The Cannon Valley Senior Center has a number of things that we do during the year. Uh, one of the biggest things we do is put on a can uh, Thanksgiving Day dinner at St. Pius Church. It's a free, you can sign up. Uh, there are some deliveries available. You can pick a meal up or you can go. I believe this year we'll be able to eat at the church. It's a full, typical, traditional Thanksgiving meal. It's served right around the lunch hour. If you give the senior center a call, they can give you more information. And we're always looking for volunteers for that also. And, and like, just like any other organization that's volunteers and nonprofit, we're always looking for donations. If you have something you'd like to donate, again, call the Cannon Valley Senior Center or look it up on the internet, and they would be able to let you know just how to donate. And thank you for that consideration.
Echosense Septic Services. By Gully. And the wind blows. If you have a septic system out in the country or close by, hey, now you know what to do. Echo Sense. Give them a call. Floyd's out with his old Al Chalmers again. Takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and love. TLC, tender loving care, to make some of these things look nice. Some of them they'll take from the junkyard and they look, well, like a wreck. And they'll spend hours disassembling, cleaning, sanding, sandblasting. Sometimes they make their own parts and pieces and put it all back together and it turns out like this. Thanks for bringing the old girl back out again this year. In case you didn't notice, that pump on the back is for pumping fuel for boats on Lake Superior. Takes a lot of fuel to move those things. Highland and Sons has one of their smaller trucks. Oh, it's kind of a little booster one. Here's one of the big ones. This looks like a mobile home almost. All complete, and if you want to do some little tooling around, oh, you can do some little tooling around. Here's their little truck, and then here's their little go-kart. It's a lot cheaper driving the go-kart around than it is the big semi. <laughs> Sheriff's Department shooting people again, huh? <laughs> there it goes, up on the roof! Whoa! Somebody be looking for that one next year. Now there's what we need instead of throwing candy out. Sugar free. Marty's throwing out pencils. Hi, right, well. Happy Fourth, everybody. I got sugar free can uh, candy this year. Pencils. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Good to be here. Things kind of straightening out a little bit, Marty? Yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. Mounted posses. Not all horses, but they get the job done. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you taking the time coming down, getting your horses off and saddled. And one of the more important rigs in the whole parade is the, um, well, the, uh, yes. We would call that the septic service for the horses, I guess. All natural. If anyone needs some manure for their garden or some fertilizer, give the sheriff's department a call. They can probably give you help. <laughs> the high school band there again if you play an instrument you're in a high school or junior high get it out polish it up And join in the fun. There's lots of things that go on.
First Farmers and Merchants Bank. That's my bank. A couple of different locations in town. The nice thing about the First Farmers and Merchants is they have a location at Family Fair, and they're open on Saturday and Sunday. Hey, get in the pitch, right? They're open until 7 at night. And weekends. Always comes in handy. Coming from Northfield in that first national bank, the defeat of Jesse James days. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not Jesse James days, it's a defeat of Jesse James days. Logan Adi, Lila Parker, Lily King, Adi Pagel, and Kaya Schomburg. Thanks, girls. We appreciate you coming. Have a great year. And we're back once again with the old 1950 Ford. Old V8s, that's when they had some power to them. Riverwood Church out on Highway 19 out west. A lot of things going on there. Take a look at the flyer. You'll see just what there is. The tricycles were donated for use by the Cannon Valley Senior Center, which also has bicycles to rent. Spray tanning and teeth whitening. You can have a tan unmatched by any and just smile and brighten that tan right up. Miss Minnesota, right here from Red Wing. Ellie Mark. Cannon Falls, FFA. A wonderful organization for high school kids. They learn so much before getting out into life. Besides farming, they learn a lot of other life skills too. Banks Outdoors, look at there, they're now hiring. They have got so much things going on out there, it's just unbelievable. If you're looking for a job or when unemployment stops, which is gonna be pretty soon, you could have something to do out at Banks. Enough to keep you interested. Now there's a motorcycle that's really comfortable. Don't have to worry about falling off or tipping over. Hands free, I like that. Cannon Cruisers Car and Truck Club, right here in Cannon Falls. There again, these are cars that used to be just kind of wrecks or partially put back together. Loving care. They polish them to a shine. Then you can pick up some old guy to put in the back playing an accordion too. That looks like Dan Swan. Hey Dan. Cannon Cruisers is not always for the older vehicles, although That was Denny Showquist, in case you're wondering. St. Paul's Lutheran Church up on, just off the highway, just off Highway 19. They got a brand new minister. 
he hasn't even had time to get one of the blue shirts that have their name on it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't look close enough. He's in the wrong group. He's actually a Shriner. Reverend Shriner. Good Hill Lions Chicken Barbecue, August 15th. That's coming up in a little over a month. They have the reputation of having some of the finest chicken dinners and barbecues around. Some, or <laughs> some towns and organizations will actually have them come and help out or show them how to do it because they do it right. The History Museum, right up the street here. It is open today. Yes, thank you. I almost forgot about that. There is a lot of really nice stuff in there. Of course, it's old stuff, but it's really nice. A lot of things that date back quite a few years. It's a really interesting place to go. I think it does cost you a little bit to get in, but it's worth it. You can also become a member of the History Museum organization. It's not very much for a year, but it's well worth it. Speaking of old and ancient, if you're old enough to remember threshing bees, you may have had one of these out by your barn or someone else's barn. A bunch of the neighbors would get together and have threshing bees and they go from one farm to the other, cutting the oats, bringing them in, drying them, bringing in the shocks, throwing them in a conveyor belt, and then they'd hook one of these up to the threshing machine and process oats in one bunch in the trailers and then a big pile of straw. Cannon cruisers, when they went by before, if they got a hold of this tractor and spent a few months on it, it would come out looking brand new. I don't think that's the effect they're looking for on this particular one though. But here's one that has had some work done to it. Unless it's natural and I don't know is that natural? Is that original finish? Oh, nothing wrong there. There's another one in pretty nice shape. I used to drive one of these like this when I was a kid. And I even got paid for it. I got 50 cents an hour. That was big money back then. Clatter, clatter, rattle, rattle, bang, bang, bang. That might be about as fast as he can go at top speed. All right, was that four miles an hour? Two and a half miles an hour. And that's with the threads all the way open. Again, if you're old enough, you'll remember an old buck saw. You take the wood, go out in the wood, cut the tree down, and then take the tree if you've got enough guys to do it. Set it up on this and buck them into about two foot lengths and then split them. That's an old Rumley oil pole. In case you didn't recognize, of course, we don't see too many of these around. Pretty unusual, but they're precious. Boy, that just saved people's lives back in the 1920s, 1930s. Small engine repair service. No, small engine service. Out on Highway 61, just north. I got to call you one of these days to go out and talk to you, too. I got two lawnmowers I need some working on. Two craftsmen lawnmowers. I got two now. We'll see what we can do. I'll call you, Chris. Driving an old John Deere tractor. Again, that might be about top speed. Small engine service used to be just up on 4th Street, up the hill and back behind uh, the church, or across the street from the church from St. Pius. 
He moved to a place out in the country where he has lots more room to work. He does a nice job, takes care of it. Any problems you've got, small engine related. Nelson Insurance Company, Mark Showquist and Tanner Carlson. Mark is one of our softball players, believe it or not. We have a senior softball team, and he's usually our first baseman, but we made him into a pitcher because our regular pitcher couldn't make it last week and this week. Osmond Clowns! All right, quit clowning around, you guys. Show me something funny. Oh, you already are, sorry. All the way down from St. Paul. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you coming down. It's always nice to have it. Now, there's a bike that takes some practice. Oh, no, you're not going backwards now. Keep working on it, though. Bucker, there you go. That works better that way. Minnesota Fire Engine Club. The Rural Fire Department from Randolph. That's what fire trucks used to look like and that was in tip-top shape. Thanks for coming over. Now back in the 1960s, they started getting fancy, like number four, the red one. It was amazing, the difference. This one would have been closer to the 1950s, I believe, or 1940s. 40s? 50s. Okay, I was right the first time. This organization kind of takes care of some of the older fire trucks to keep the dream alive, I guess. When local fire departments are done using their fire trucks, they usually sell them off or have an auction, and this organization will pick them up and uh, take care of them and drive them in trades. Makes you kind of aware of what they used to look like. And that's what sirens used to sound like. And when you heard one coming, you got off the road right away because it was a siren. And that was all, some of them were hand powered. You got a little lever to crank you, crank it, and that's the siren. It's not electronic like it is now. You could still hear them coming though. And <laughs> Angie Crate, I was going to say, where is she? But I, I noticed there she is, right there. Thanks for coming, Angie. And thanks to all your minions for coming along and help hold signs up. Appreciate it. Happy 4th to all you, too. Hang on to those signs. The wind's coming up a little bit. We'll see you come sailing back on one of your signs. Well, we got a little bit of a cancellation here. If you like to talk amongst yourselves, that'd be just fine. Let me tell you a little bit about the uh, Cannon Valley Senior Center. We've got a lot of things going on. Adventures and Learning has five events each year. 
It has a variety of speakers, education, entertainment. You can share each other's ideas and ideals and get some ideas. Book Buddies, they volunteer during the school year to read to first graders. They have books that you can choose from and gives the, the kids a chance to get some kind of one-on-one -on -one reading help. They need volunteers. One of the things they need volunteers for and got was at the fair. You'll notice at the front gates are, are people there that have Cannon Valley Senior Center t-shirts on and they are checking people in and, and taking the fee. And then money is donated to the Senior Center for doing that. Uh, there's a lot of people that do it. And of course we have the softball team, tax preparation. We've got a few other things we also do. Um, look it up, we have a website. Another entry from Hampton is the Ratliff Racing Team. Where do you race? Cute. Well, we'll have to ask him later, I guess. I'm guessing we have eight partners coming up next. I see a whole bunch of John Deere vehicles. If you're looking for a John Deere vehicle or a used implement for your garden, for your yard, for your farm, I guess these would be more geared to the farm except a little lawnmower in the back of the first unit here. Marvelous capabilities. You want to use, move a pile of dirt or something like that, whatever you're moving, one of these will make it a whole lot easier for you. And then there's one of these. Gets you a chance to get out into the field early because you're probably not going to get stuck with one of these. If you do get stuck, well, middle of summer will be here soon. You can get it out then. But they'll get your crops in plenty early. And then to follow with that, when your crops are in and when they're ready to harvest, you take one of these. You could probably buy one of these just right in town here. Chances are a bunch of the farmers in the area will buy one together or rent the service to come and harvest your crop for you. Frontier Egg and Turf. Seabird's Garage. Red Wing Cannon Falls on Prescott. 75 years. Holy cow, it's a long time to be towing cars. This vehicle is one of the newer ones. That one has a boob on it, and you can go around the side, from the front, from the back. I believe that would be called a rotator. Um, if you're stuck or in a wreck, here's what you need. And then we're going to hope that this car isn't ever in a wreck that has to be up on this vehicle. These are nice. They can slide down the bed right under the front of the car and crank it up and put the bed back on and drive away instead of trying to hook it up with a chain and tow it. Indy Specialty, it's a complete UTV, ATV shop. It's local, give them a call.
machine shop. That's what you need. In case your motor poops out on you around the lake, get towed back and take it over to Indy Specialty. Where are you located? Where are you located? Well, we'll check with them later, I guess. Cannon Falls, compared to the Twin Cities, is a very small community, but there's such a diverse number of companies and organizations. You can have just about anything you need here. And believe it or not, we have a grocery store in town, and we have a clothing store, and we've got a lot of other things, so you don't have to drive all the way up to the cities. Shop local, I always say. Okay, all you gardeners, you say you need some hay for your garden or straw or something like that, I'll bet if you give Stouse a call you can buy bales of hay. How much do one of those bales weigh? Thousand pounds only. Shoot. You can hook a chain to your car and drag that in your backyard and spread it around and have a garden that would be well insulated, well fertilized. When I was a kid, we used to have a bale and we could pull them up into the wagon. They only weighed about 75 pounds. Could handle those. Especially when it was about 85 degrees outside. And sweaty. Bauer roll-off service. If you're planning on moving, folks, here you go. No, no, not to move in to throw all your stuff that you've had around for 50 years that you're not using anymore, just throw it in one of these and they'll take care of it for you. It's slick and easy. Green Acres is the place to go. Again from Hastings. Got a blank spot in front of your house, you need a tree put in there, they'll get you one. Or if you want one moved, they'll move it for you. Or if you want one planted, they'll plant it for you. This little unit here is the slickest thing you ever seen. It just backs up to a tree, puts the spades down, picks the tree up complete, and gets it out of your way. And then if you've got a big sheet of plastic or a tarp, you can put that in a hole and fill it up with the water and have a mini swimming pool. And again, all the way down from Hastings, Frandrup Masonry. There again, if you need something masoned, or bricked, or blocked, give them a call. Yeah, winds can work it against you a little bit there. <laughs> yeah, throw it the, it'll land up on the roof probably, if you throw it the other way. Normally bobcats don't transport people. But hey, it works, that's right. Watch your cameras, please. Thank you. Appreciate that, guys. It sucks when you gotta wipe the camera off. Thanks very much for coming on down and bringing all your stuff with you. If you got a big lawn and you don't want to mow it, got a lot of snow and you don't want to shovel it, give automatic a call. And if you've ever seen anything weirder in wheels on a lawnmower, take a look at this. 
if they're going fast, it looks like there's no wheels at all. Looks like it's floating on air. It's pretty cool. A little easier on your lawn, too. <laughs> this lady is glad you're not spraying anything out of there. So are we. Boyd Septic Service, all the way from Goodhue. You know what? And there goes the dragon. Heading back home. Thanks, guys. They've probably got another place to go this afternoon. <sighs> Septic service. It's demanded of anything out in the country that you need to have a septic tank that is agreeable to however many people you have in the home or how many is capable of having in the home. And then if you want to make your own septic service, a septic system, you call River's Edge Concrete. Blocks, bricks, driveways, roads, anything like that. If it needs concrete, you got the place right here. Cannon Falls Lions Club. Hey, hey, the Lions. Appreciate what you do, guys. It's wonderful. Antiques on 4th and Mill. In case you look, they're driving right toward their place. It's right on the corner. It's a big antique sign out front. They used to be out in the mall. Now they've moved in. Randolph FFA in agriculture. By golly, what a way to start the kids off when they're in school. FFA is a wonderful organization. Look at just some of the things they do. One of the most important things they do, of course, is show livestock at the county fairs and the state fair if they make it there. Watch out for the cameras. Thank you. Watch out for the cameras. Thank you. You guys must be from the pool. How could I tell? Is that pool water you're shooting around there at us? <laughs> Yeah. Good. Need a little stain on my shirt removed. Going right along with what the FFA does, 4-H is an organization which trains people, trains children. Uh, again, if you're looking for a volunteer opportunity, 4-H can always use extra people. Get involved, it's a great thing. There's another collector, that's an El Camino, the Chev version. GMC also has one that looks just like it, it's called something else. In case you couldn't tell what this is, that's the soccer club ball bat. Wheeling that big soccer ball down. That's their practice ball. United Soccer. Go over organization. It's great for kids. They learn coordination. And they get in shape. Dakota County Fair, August 9th to the 15th. It's a short drive to take to get there, but it's a really good fair. Not as good as the Cannon Valley Fair, of course, but it is the Dakota County Fair. It's got a lot of things going on. Oops, sorry. Hey, partners. There's a vehicle you need to 
drive when there's children around, they can't get run over. Fertilizing, planting, harvesting. Hank Partners has it all. Egg Partners is headquartered out of Goodhue, but they do have locations here in town. They do not have the gas station down on Main Street they used to have, I'm sorry, on 4th Street, but they still have the one over by the river where you can buy all kinds of things there, seed and dog food, and cat food, and other things like that. We're coming to the end of the parade. Ladies and gentlemen, please be careful when you leave. Watch out for traffic. Beautiful team. Beautiful team. I believe you are from Plainville? Yes, sir. Thanks again for coming. Beautiful set of horses. They're always coming down to... Go in the parade, and we really appreciate it. Sandy? Sandy? How are you? And here we go at the end of the parade, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it. Be careful. Pick up any garbage you got laying around. Don't get in front of any cars. Watch the children. Drive carefully. Don't forget tonight is the fireworks at dusk. Free entry into the fairgrounds and free fireworks.